After suffering from some serious health issues, one Charlotte resident was interested in investigating what was in the food that she was eating. Vani Hari is known by two names. In her normal day-to-day -day routine, she is Vani, but to her followers, she is the food bait. I suffered a lot of health problems early on in my um, career. I, um, I got a really cool job that demanded a lot of hours, and it was traveling, and so I was away from home eating whatever the office folks brought in, and I got so sick and so overweight, I'd gained like 30 pounds within a few months that I had appendicitis. And a lot of people think that appendicitis has nothing to do with the way you eat. It's a random occurrence. Um, you know, a lot of doctors think it's just random, but I have no doubt that the reason why I had appendicitis was because of the way I was eating. And it was that kind of life-changing moment that brought me to bring health as my number one priority. Vani, after learning and reading book upon book about living clean, began a blog. I said, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll start a blog. And um, so I started it last year in April. Uh, started writing about things that I do on a daily basis. From her blogging, Vani gained a large following and has been able to spread her message rather far. You know, I make sure that I, I research and um, put out a good, um, you know, sets of information for, for people to, to learn from and I give people the practical information, you know, what's in a certain food, how to avoid it, and then what you can do instead. I was shocked when Vani admitted what one of the worst foods is that the average American likes to snack on. There's a lot of bad foods out there. There's a lot. Um, but I think the ones that are the worst are the ones that trick you the most. And one particular thing that's tricking so many Americans right now is Pepperidge Farm goldfish. Now to find more out about what Bonnie's doing, you can visit her website at foodbabe.com. In Uptown, I'm Madison Martin for GoCarolinas.com.